Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Ingenious EPA5006HAT POE injector. So this equipment was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase this, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So here I have an Ingenious ECW336 Wi-Fi access point, and this access point supports Wi-Fi 6E on the 6 gigahertz frequency. So this also supports up to 5 gigabit ethernet so i don't have any 5 gigabit ethernet right now but i do have 2.5 so i currently have a 2.5 gigabit ethernet switch but it does not have poe on it now if you have a large installation it might make sense to buy a 2.5 gigabit poe switch but if you have a smaller installation you can use a product like this poe injector to supply power to a single access point so instead of getting a whole switch i can just use a poe injector having poe on your switch can cost more money this is a more cost effective way to do it if you only have a few access points so let's get this open. And I'm going to be testing this with Ingenious hardware, but this would also work with other brands of PoE access points. So here we have the injector, it has power here. So we can plug the power cord in. Let me measure that. That's a little over 20 inches. So this outputs 54 volts at 0.6 amps. These are our two ports. We have a power LED, we have LAN and PoE. So let me get my LAN. So here I have 2.5 gigabit ethernet. This is on a Cat5e cable. So I'll plug that into LAN. Here I have a Cat6 ethernet cable. I'll plug that into PoE and I'll plug that into the access point. And now I'll plug this into power. So the light is lighting up on this. Now I do have the lights turned off, so once this comes online, the lights will go completely out. But you would typically install this at the point of your switch. You wouldn't absolutely have to though. You could put this in a different location. So you'd typically run a small patch cable from your switch to the PoE injector, and then a larger cable from PoE to the access point. So that'll take a few minutes to come online. So I'll let that get set up, and then we'll run some benchmarks. Okay, so I have this PC connected up to the access point. It's connected up on the six gigahertz network. I'll hit start on the speed test. Okay, okay, so I sped that up. So this open speed test is hosted on my network on a system that's on a 2.5 gigabit ethernet network. So we're connecting from the PC wirelessly to the access point and the access point is connecting through my network to the speed test. So we got 1700 megabits per second download or 1.7 gigabit and 785 megabit upload. So I've done this before and I've gotten two gigabit down and about 1.8 up. I don't know exactly why it's going slow right now. It could be any number of factors, but if I was using gigabit networking, the download would be capped at one gigabit. Let me actually try running it one more time. Okay, so here we got a little bit faster on the upload and about the same on the download. So if you're moving towards higher speeds on your network and you want to get past that gigabit mark, this is a great option for adding higher speed capabilities to your wireless network. And as I said before, this will work with other vendors access points too that support higher than gigabit ethernet. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.